We want to wish all the students out there a very mm -hmm. happy first day of school. Of course, today was the first day of school for students at Helena Public Schools. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian reports it was a special milestone for three new elementary schools welcoming in kids for the very first time. At 8 a.m. Wednesday, thousands of kids around Helena were filing into their schools for the first day of classes. I'm scared and excited <laughs> at the same time. For students at Bryant, Central, and Jim Darcy Elementary, this year will be a different experience as they step into brand new school buildings for class. We're excited about the new building. We've never been inside, so we're about to go in and check it out. Voters approved a $63 million bond to build the three new schools. They're Helena's first new school facilities in decades. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for any educator. Uh, the opportunity to open a new building is such a privilege. Perhaps the biggest change will be for students at Central School. For the last six years, they attended classes at the Lincoln School campus on the other side of town after the old Central School closed over safety concerns. The new school means kids can return to their neighborhood. That's the, I think the most, the most emotional part is finally putting a school back on this site. Kids like Gray, Anson, and Karis were able to walk to school Wednesday morning instead of having to ride the bus across town. And it was like you couldn't have a conversation, and a lot of times when they were moving there was traffic jams. Now they can focus on their plans for the next year. I guess learning more, <laughs> and having yeah. fun recesses, <laughs> making that new friends. Yeah, making new friends mm -hmm. and meeting the new kindergartners. School leaders say they're excited to start putting these new buildings to work. Every space here we can use to teach students. It's just going to be a fun year. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. Helena school district leaders say their total enrollment will be close to 8,000 students this year.